Hello from the Philippines. Today I want to talk about crime. Crime in the Philippines. And does it happen often? Like in the West, it depends where you live. If you're going to be living in a large city, you're going to get more crime. More people equals more crime. If you're living in the province, less so. Just the same as in the West. So, what's the crime I've experienced since I've been here? Two years, don't forget now. Personally, I've experienced nothing. Now, I live in the red zone. That's the portion of the Philippines, of Mindanao, that all Western governments recommend their citizens do not enter under any circumstances. Why? because there's a risk of being kidnapped and murdered. And it has happened many times in the past. So there's a good reason why the location I live in isn't for everyone. Now, where in the red zone do I live? I live slap bang in the middle of that red zone, not on the border, the edge, not a little bit near to the border, right slap bang in the middle. Not far from Zimbonga City. Now, if anyone's gonna experience anything, it's likely to be me, because there are not many foreigners that live in my location, very, very few. I have experienced personally nothing nothing whatsoever. I haven't been overcharged in, in any small stores I've been to, to get my vape juice, for example. Certainly, I haven't been overcharged in any large supermarket or shopping mall. Now, what are the crimes that I've heard that have happened here since I've been here? Two years, don't, don't forget. I've said before, there was a hand grenade thrown in a house just over there, literally a stone's throw away. That happened early on when I first came here. There was a dispute over whatever between two Filipinos. The Filipino family were out watching a basketball match and the other fella decided to lob, to throw a hand grenade in the house, through the window. He's now, I believe, doing 40 years in prison. Nobody was injured, like I said, the family, luckily, watching basketball. He's still got 40 years. Now, anything else that I've heard that's gone on since I've lived here? Yep, there was a courier motorbike rider. This happened ooh, about seven, eight, nine months ago now. So a local courier rider went to a house and was gunned down. Not far away from here. He was gunned down by a woman, by a Filipina. It later transpired they were in a relationship, she got jealous, so she killed him. Another incident happened a good, I guess a year ago, in the centre of town. <clears throat> a Filipino took a Filipina hostage in the street The police naturally came along and after, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes, they shot him dead. The lady was safe. Another incident that happened, don't forget I live not in the province, in a first class municipality. <clears throat> with a lot of province close by, a lot of land. 
The population is so-so. It's nothing compared to the population of Cebu, uh, Manila, Davao City. But it's, I don't know, maybe 100,000. Not in my particular area, but in the whole of this province area. Zimbwonga, Sibuge province, to be precise. So the last thing that happened that I heard, this is all true, by the way. It's not hearsay, it's not rumour. These are facts. A guy who was a merchant, navy, sailor, whatever you want to call him, was home on leave. Married. He climbed into a badgerer, you know, the three wheeled taxi things, tuk tucks, whatever they call them in Thailand. They call them that. Here they're called badgerers. I used to think they were called badgers. I was incorrect. Climbs into a badger. I'm not sure how he got into that badger, whether it was pre called. I don't see how he could have just held it because of what I'm going to tell you. So he gets into the badger. Don't forget, he's home on leave. He's married. His wife's at home. He's going into town. Jeez, would you believe it? That flies back. But it's not the same fly. I know it's a damn different fly. Always comes in through that door. <clears throat> we have many flies. Anyway. Gets on the badger, goes into town, and the driver shoots him dead. He was having an affair with his wife while he was at sea. They concocted to murder him. They succeeded. I'm not sure what's happened to the driver. He's obviously in custody. I'm not sure what happened, I didn't ask. So there are the incidences, the main incidences that have happened here in the two years I've been here. I also know burglary is on the increase. My wife told me that apparently in Ipil, in town, there's a lot of burglaries, house burglaries, I mean. So it's in one sense, just like anywhere else in the world. You know, you're always going to get wrong -uns, bad people, criminals, the criminal element. Don't think the Philippines is any different. My advice to you, whether you're in a big city like Manila, Cebu City, or even a province, a small province, and let's assume, I'm assuming, you have anything like a Rolex watch, anything expensive, gold necklace, anything. I would not wear them when I'm going out if I were you, or I wouldn't wear them if you were going out if I were you. You're tempting fate. Listen, if you live in the UK, if you live in London, you do not walk about any longer with Rolex watches or expensive jewellery. It's just not the done thing. And I think you can guess why. We're no longer in the 1960s, the 1970s, the 1980s, even the 1990s. We're in a different world. And there's no exception here. If you're looking for trouble and you wear your jewellery, you're going to find it eventually. Trust me. Stay vigilant. Always. You're a foreigner here. There are people that will be watching you that you're not even aware of. No, I don't mean a Filipino looking at you because you're a Westerner. That's a different thing. Just stay vigilant and be careful what you wear. Dress down. And when I say that, I don't mean wear a tatty old T-shirt and a tatty old pair of jeans or shorts if you're going out. I don't mean that. that that's a different thing. I'm talking jewellery watches, luxury watches, even half decent watches, etc. To be honest with you, I always wear my watch. I never had any problems. 
but that's luck. So, is crime particularly bad in the Philippines? I don't know. I don't think it is. I don't think it's worse than anywhere else. Sure, you can get killed. Hiring someone to kill someone is fairly cheap here. So be careful who you offend. If I go to London, the United Kingdom, can I get killed? Yes, you damn well can. Wrong place, wrong time. Easy peasy, my friend. Again, we're not in the 1960s, 1970s, 1980s, 90s, etc. We're in different times now. So, Phil, what are you saying? If, if I go to the Philippines, uh, you're telling me, you know, I've got to be scared to come? No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying, like anywhere else on this planet, there's criminality here in the Philippines, just like anywhere else. Just be vigilant, stay vigilant. Plus, you are a Westerner, an easy target. I'm not saying anything will happen to you. And more than likely, unless you go into a really bad area late at night or you're up to no good yourself, the likelihood is nothing, unless you're very unlucky also, let me add that. The likelihood is nothing's going to happen to you. Go to London, the likelihood is nothing's going to happen to you. But it could, it could. And the same applies here. Just go about your business, be polite to those you need to be polite to, and that's it. Dress down, like I said, do not put your jewellery on show, on parade, because you will be asking for trouble. Apart from that, it's fine. And I'm not trying to be funny saying all that and saying it's fine. Look, those criminal murders I gave you were Filipino on Filipino. They were disputes, love triangles, whatever. And unless you're in a love triangle, you've got nothing to fear of in terms of that. Unless you're going in places you really shouldn't be going to, out at midnight going to places you really shouldn't be going to, like dark alleys, you know what I'm trying to say, then you'll be fine. Believe me, you don't have to walk in the street looking over your shoulder, looking over, it's nothing like that. I'm just saying, being vigilant, do your due diligence. That's all. You see plenty of vloggers out and about on the streets. Nothing happens to them. I'm just giving extreme examples of what can happen. Listen, if I was talking about the UK, I'd be saying exactly the same. Exactly. So it's no difference. But if the answer is, could you get mugged? Yep. Could you get robbed? Yep. Could you get burgled? Yep. Could you get beaten up? Yep. Could you get murdered? Yep. That all applies to the UK and America and Australia and New Zealand and Europe and Canada and anywhere else you care to name. But because we're in the Philippines, we're talking about the Philippines. Just try not to disrespect the locals. Do your best. You don't want to be walking in the street having a big argument or, you know, you don't want to tempt uh, fate, basically. You know, <clears throat> these days, if you're even in London, you wouldn't want to tempt fate. I don't really see the Philippines. I, I think the Philippines is probably better than London. In fact, I know it's better crime wise than London. But still, you're a foreigner in a foreign, strange country. Don't care how long you've lived here. Different locations are going to be different. So what I'm saying about what's happened here won't apply in Manila. Maybe it's, it's probably worse in Manila because it's a higher population. But it's nothing to fear. If you're polite, and like I said, keep your nose clean, you're okay. You're good to go. Unless you're extremely, extremely unlucky, which I doubt. Come to the Philippines to meet a Filipina. Enjoy life here. You're not going to get murdered. Like I said, unless you're very unlucky or you've been extremely stupid. If you're going to live here, unless you're living in a high-rise apartment or something, 
especially if you're going to build a house, would I advise you having dogs? I would. Some people will get the local dogs, the Aspen dogs. I personally don't care for those. I would be looking, I have Rottweiler, I want to get some other dogs. I'd be looking at Rottweilers. Uh, Dobermans are okay, but you need more than one if you're going to get Doberman, Dobermans, they're not strong enough. Boxers are okay, they're still not strong enough. You're looking at Rottweilers, and better than Rottweilers, Caney Corso, better than a Caney Corso. Um, Dogo Argentinos, Boar Bells, Boar Balls, whatever you call them. Uh, Preza Canarias. Those are the type of dogs you should be looking for. My top dogs, if, um, apart from Rottweilers, would be a Dogo Argentino and a Boar Ball, South African Boar Ball. You ain't going to mess with either of those two. And by the way, if either of those two got in a fight with a Rottweiler, they would beat a Rottweiler quite easy. And a Rottweiler would beat most other dogs quite easy. A Rottweiler is sufficient, one or two. You've got to stop intruders, there's not an issue. Those other dogs have a stronger bite. They're heavier, stronger and fearless, just like a Rottweiler. Apart from that, I can't think of anything else. Enjoy your day and that's all. Oh, one further thing. A few people commented they couldn't hear me turn my mic up. Sorry about that. What sometimes happens is my one-year-old is asleep in the bedroom and even though the door's shut, he's a really light sleeper. So I have this silly habit of talking like that, not to wake him up. And that's stupid. I can talk like this. So I'm talking to low and people can't hear me. Sorry about that, my apologies. That's all.